Yeah. You have fun? Yeah. <laughs> you got air! Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Today we're gonna go off-roading again in the old Range Rover. I've had a couple other videos in the past where we uh, actually attended a rover off-road event for Land Rovers and Range Rovers in Western Virginia. But today uh, we have some friends who have some land along the Rappahannock River and a bunch of us are gonna head up there. Uh, it might be the only rover. I'm not sure what else is coming along. We'll have to see. Before I go do that though, I wanna give you a quick update on the vehicle. I had some issues where up here in the gauge cluster, I would get the triangle of doom, which are the three emergency warning lights for the braking system, and the brakes would go to manual, no power whatsoever. And I thought, lovely. The, there's a ABS uh, booster on the system that's just a nightmare. Uh, they usually don't go bad, but apparently when they do, obviously, they're unobtainium, and I'd have to get a used part and go through all that nightmare of a mess. But I did some research and found out that under here, under this panel right here, are the uh, is the controller for the ABS system, the computer, and all of the relays. And so you just take these screws out here, and then there's a screw here and here, and this panel comes right out. And then the, the, the relays are right there. They're, they're right there. There was actually an extra relay sitting there, just on the floor, and it looked better than the ones that were in there. Anyway, I cleaned up the connections a bit, put some dielectric grease on all of the connectors of all the relays, and I put in that, that relay that was sitting there. And it went away and the brakes have been fine ever since. So I've actually been enjoying this and driving it around, which makes it a lot easier to do what I'm gonna do today and drive it an hour away and see what it does off road. I've not been on these trails before. I don't think they're as difficult as the mountain trails that we did last fall, but I can't wait. I haven't been able to off road this since then and it's just gonna be a blast. So stay tuned for some off roading action. Well, we're cruising along here, just about 70 miles an hour on I-95 in a vehicle that sat in a field for a large portion of its life and didn't run for many, many years. So uh, I'm gonna do like I always did, and knock on the chipped wood that uh, this continues going this this nicely. And next stop, hopefully, is the farm where we'll be having some fun. We got a Land Cruiser. Tyler's brought the family uh, W123 wagon, and we've got a Miata. These are all great off-road vehicles, and I can't wait to see how they do on the rally circuit that we have. I don't know how they're gonna do. I think we're gonna try to get the rear end to break loose in the Mercedes, though because it's got like 80 horsepower, or maybe not even that many anymore. I'm overtaking a vehicle, or passing as we call it here, and it's a new model Lexus. In a car that probably never was going to be overtaking anything ever again. This is fun. <laughs> I mean, this is just a track. What's more fun is that Tyler back there is in his W123 wagon driving on this track too. Um, we're creating quite a bit of dust. You want me to pass them? Pass them. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I could. It's, it's kind of flat here. This, this tall Camry in front of us. <laughs> there we go. A little whoop de whoop here. This would be fun in the Mercedes. Yeah. Idea. You gotta do that again. I didn't have... Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Covered in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did you drive like a dream? This is a natural. <laughs> like up the hill. Down is it good? You have fun? Yeah. Okay, I'm hard well. Your sheet metal is good glass. Yeah. Watch out, this is a huge. <laughs> oh my god, you're about to descend. You can it. see the dirt through the windshield? <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Oh boy. <laughs> This one doesn't have the soft ash, no airbags. <laughs> Let's try way back there. Rolling cold. Whoa, he's rolling cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder who, I mean, this was taking forever to clear this out. Just, just for a look at some time. Yeah. 400 years ago. You're right. <laughs> 
I say that's pretty successful. Look at the mud coating on that. Uh, this will not look anything like it does on camera because it never looks steep when you. Yeah. Like, when we were parked on those hillsides of the MAR and I was trying to film, you just, nobody, you could, no way you could tell <laughs> that it was a steep hill at all. Hey, we're off roading in the bends oh, now. Fuck. Oh. Oh! Who knows what he's doing with mine back there? <laughs> There's just something really nice about off-roading with the three-pointed star on the hood. Or the, yeah, the, no. the gun side of... <laughs> I didn't realize it was this far back over here. so I can get this from the outside. Because why not? Make sure I don't get run over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's majestic. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> you got air! <laughs> you totally got a little air on that one. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that? Was, this would this be fun to watch. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. pretty, here, that here. pretty good. Well, don't, don't hit my car, but step on it. You, cause you, you, hey, it's finished! <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to do a, a drag race between the two slowest cars here. It's going to be hard to film Troy from the front. The car seats will get in the way. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we'll see. Just get in here and film out of the sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> I got my head chopped off when you hit a whoop de whoop in the middle of the field. All right, Greg, you said it went. Three, two, one, go! Oh, no, oh we're spinning! Spinning, <laughs> spinning no! <laughs> The zero to 60 and 30 second Range Rover is beating us. <laughs> so we really should do that with a diesel one. The spinning. <laughs> the problem is if we go back, then there's the there's the little ramp. Maybe, maybe, uh, two oh yeah. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah, the kid seats are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's catching back up now. Ooh, I see the ground. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this poor 520,000 mile Mercedes has never seen anything like this before. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, what? <laughs> it may have. <laughs> it may have. All right. I have ridden in this car more than I ever have. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shirley drove it for like 15 minutes. It was great. She was like, I need my rover. It was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> there's hopefully there's no one coming the other way. Can you look for y'all? <laughs> the cloud. Diesel smoke. Oh yeah, well, right or there. maybe not. Oh, oh. <laughs> everything in the back just hit the ceiling. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you definitely had us in the first race. Oh yeah, but it was cutting out in the second one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it was. It did that to me uh, on the way up here. Well, yeah, we decided to do a drag race out here in the field. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I hit like four. 
40, but I'm in the field and he's on the road. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, can't wait to see what that looks like. That was filmed out of the back of the, <laughs> the Land Cruiser. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the greatest drag race nobody asked for. Say go, right? Wait, when do I say it? got off the highway, I am back in town, we made it. I'm still grinning ear to ear. I mean, when was the last time you saw a drag race between a W123 Mercedes station wagon and two Range Rover Classics, one of which is a diesel with a five speed and a two door? What a blast. So I just wanna thank all of y'all for watching. I can't wait to bring the next uh, segment of Doug's Cars to y'all. So if you do wanna see that next segment, make sure that you already subscribe to me and click that little button there. You can click the bell icon and follow along, comment, like, share, all those fun things, you know the drill. Thanks again so much for watching Doug's Cars.